If I don't kill myself, I'll... <laughs> it's already right here. The science has moved on, so some of it is not as good as it is now. Um, there's also some hyperbole, I'd say, attached. I think the basic argument of the documentary probably still holds, but um, I think there's some exaggerations, some controversial claims in there that perhaps actually weaken the movie as a as a documentary piece. The science or the basic science was actually not too bad. I'd grade him at about a B. But uh, when he talked about climate change, he cherry-picked a lot of the information that supported his side. And that's something that both sides tend to do. That I think, uh, unfortunately, is has been a recurring theme of the climate change debate is the, the the people who advocate action open themselves up for, for charges of overstating the threat by making those kind of claims. And, and even though, as I think, the, the whole science is actually pretty sound, if you give the opponents some kind of opening to the, they can kind of leverage that to try and claim the whole thing is unsound. With the current warming, my own opinion is that nature is driving it primarily. Uh, even, even supporters of the anthropogenic climate theory will, will tell you that there is no way to quantify how much of the current warming is human-induced and how much is natural. And as a consequence, science is all across the spectrum. You have those who believe, such as I do, that, that nature is primarily in control and that humans play a smaller role. And then on the other side, you've got those who believe that humans are playing the dominant role and nature is a small role. And you've even got those in the middle who are saying it's about 50-50. The overall science community is firmly on the side that this is primarily a human-induced effect. There is always going to be natural variability and there is always some natural com contribution to climate change and temperature changes, but the consensus and the huge overwhelming consensus is that this is a human effect caused by the emission of greenhouse gases primarily carbon dioxide, but also things like methane. Reliable instrument measurements uh, are only, are, we only have about 120 to 130 years worth of those kind of measurements. And uh, satellites have been used more frequently and we only have about uh, 40 years of reliable measurements there. If you go much before the instrumental record, you need to rely on proxies, and proxies can only give us an impression of what happened. There is very basic solid physics behind the idea that increasing the levels of carbon dioxide and these other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will lead to a warming atmosphere. Those gases absorb infrared radiation, no one debates that, and so the basic idea is if you add those to the atmosphere, you absorb more radiation, the earth gets warmer. Some people have taken exception with my point of view on climate change, but I feel that my point of view is fairly balanced as I do agree that it's warming and I think that there may be a role for a human cause to the climate change but a very small one. I moved to the US to take up this position 12 years ago. I, I moved from the UK, from Europe. When I moved 12 years ago, there was no debate. There were no dissenters. 
in Europe, as far as I was aware, and as far as anyone was aware. This, the debate seems to be a very much an American phenomenon. 